guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it i'm laura lee i'm a stay-at-home mom and i love my family and i'm just trying to show you guys and teach anyone out there who's wanting to make life a little bit simpler for your family today we're going to be cutting up some uh, vegetables and things that i'm going to put in my freezer freezer vegetables are great to have especially with Thanksgiving coming around the corner. It's great to have those um, vegetables pre-cut up for yourself. It's easy to pull out when you need them. I put them in soups, stews. I also put them in all kinds of dishes that you're wanting to have those cut up vegetables. It'll make your life a little bit simpler and hopefully it'll make it easier for you guys. So let's go grab all those vegetables. Here's what I got guys. I'm going to be cutting up some green and red bell peppers and also some celery stalks. And these I got on sale. There were I believe like two for 98. But these are great to have any kinds of vegetables that you don't want to go to waste. It's good to freezer prep these. That way you can get some use out of them and they'll be in the freezer and they won't rot. And then some potatoes here. They're great for the freezer as well. And carrots. So we're gonna chop these up. And I'm gonna show you my next step. I'm gonna get these all cleaned up first. And then we're going to chop them up. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bell peppers and I'm gonna spray them with my vinegar and water mixture. It's half vinegar and half water that I have in a bottle. And I just spray them really good and I clean them off with water afterwards. But you want to make sure you get into the crevices and wash them off really good. want to make sure uh, you dry them off pretty good I mean you don't have to get everything it just makes the freezing process easier so you don't get like ice all over your vegetables so I'm just gonna dry these off potatoes I'm gonna cut those up first because it's easier to wash all the stuff out of there for me I believe like it gets more of the dirt out of there when I cut it up first and then I wash them but it's completely up to you guys whether you want to wash them first for now I'm going to continue to take these vegetables and I'm going to start cutting them up now that you have all of your vegetables dried off you're just gonna wanna take it and cut around the core as best as you can. And that way it makes it easier for you. And I just cut it kind of like in fours around the core, fours around the core. The way you wanna cut them to put them in the freezer completely depends on your preference. You can sit there and chop and dice them, but I usually, cut them kind of um, long length width or long width length. <laughs> if you want, you can dice them up small like this, but I just keep them that size and then I just cut them in half.
that you have them all cut up like this, you can either separate them, whatever colors that you want to, but I'm just going to take them all and place them in a freezer Ziploc bag. These are great, guys, especially, like I said, Thanksgiving is coming up. You don't want to spend most of your day before Thanksgiving just cutting up your items. It'll already be cut up for you and you can just toss it and throw it together for whatever meals you want to make with peppers or whatever other veggies that you want to add. Let's continue guys. Now I'm going to do my two stalks of celery and see this one's kind of a little limp but that's okay because you're sticking it in the freezer and you're not wasting this poor guy. This one's a little firmer, but. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna cut off the ends of the celery, where it usually has like the little darker part. I don't know, I cut them off. And I just cut these off as well. If you wanna take the whole uh, leaves off, you can. I just use some of these leaves because it gives a little added flavor as well. And then I'm going to cut off the other end of my celery. And if you have little bad parts on your celery, just cut those off as well. So now dice them as you like. go wash them out and the same process I'm going to spray them and clean them with water. Now you can either let these dry out on its own or if you have a salad spinner, don't do that. Stick it inside your salad spinner and just spin all of the water content out. Now that you got all the water out, you're just gonna wanna place your celery in your bag. And what I do is I roll down the top of the bag so you don't get any of the stuff on top of where you zip it on, which makes life a little bit easier. <laughs> along and if you have kids get them involved and they can help you shred too it'll make it faster for you guys let's keep it up so now that I got the celery and bell peppers chopped up 
The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on my potatoes. Now this can be any potato you want, but I'm just gonna do the russet potato because this is what I had that I didn't want to go bad. So I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to peel the skin, the one with the good skin. And I'm not gonna waste this skin because like I said, I'm a frugal mom, so I, I like to use and utilize things. So what I have here is, I'm gonna show you. I have a bowl with water. And what I'm gonna do with that water is I'm going to continue to cut these and then I'm gonna place them in the bowl of water so they don't get brown. And I'm gonna cook those. I'm gonna cook those for my boys and my family because they like those instead of wasting them. But if you have bad parts on it, just cut them off, don't use them. But if you've never had them, you should really try them because they're good. Huh, Chris? Yeah. All your bad parts have an extra bag for as well because if you have chickens, you can also give it to them, but if not, I mean, you can either put them in a compost or throw them away if you don't have any other options, but that's what I'd like to do. You're gonna chop it the way you want to. Now, if you wanna have hash browns, you can either do it in a food processor and make hash browns, or you can grate them by hand, it's your choice. But I'm just gonna chop these up and dice them and kind of like cube them. So I can have those in the bag, just like this. They're gonna be like cubed, and that's what I'm gonna do. But before I do that, I'm gonna go get another red bowl with water so I can put these in there so they won't brown. In. Now that I have my potatoes done, I don't want to let these sit out because I don't want them brown. You're going to squeeze your air out of your bag and then just seal it up as best as you can. If you wanna double bag them, it's up to you. I just usually bag them once and I do that to the rest of the vegetables that I cut up. I squeeze them, squeeze all the, not squeeze them, but squeeze all the air out of them. And then I seal it up. And then you're gonna to wanna to write the date 
and what the product is in there. I'll show you the frozen product that I have right now. Sorry guys, but a few of my video clips got deleted. That's why it ended there. <laughs> but all you had to do is just date them and put them in the freezer. I wanted to make sure I finished this video for you guys. Thanks for coming along with me and supporting me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below you guys for more of these videos and hit that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as I upload a video. I hope this video helped you guys to remember not to waste your veggies and things that need to be cut up or used. That way you can have them in your freezer and you can have them all cut up to use for your dishes. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Take care. Have a wonderful night. Bye.